in the end zone. Brought to you in part by Fresh Air Barbecue, affordable storage of Jones County, and attorney Mike Hostelo. With Bill Shanks, Tucker Sargent, and Montez Allen. Welcome back. Thanks for staying with us. Now to a game in Region 4 AAA. The Westside Seminoles hosting Pike County at the Ed Four Sports Complex. The Seminoles have had a high scoring offense all season, scoring right at 35 points per game. They hosted a Pike County team that had lost two in a row coming in to this one. Over to the Ed Four Sports Complex. Westside up 21 7 when we got there, but the Knolls weren't done scoring. Victor Dixon completes it to Jalen Barden for the first down. Barden with a big night, set a Record for single season at yards. Next play, Dixon back to pass again. Standing tall under pressure and firing one deep to Kwame Atkins. Atkins marked down at the one, but the Knowles then got backed up by a penalty, and then Van Sean Jackson takes care of that. He's in to the end zone. Extra point up and good, and it is 28-7. West side. Pike County to work now. Jacob Reeves. Makes one man miss, but then that was it. He fumbles and it's bouncing around and the Seminoles recover. Jackson on the carry here for West Side to set up another big pass play. And take a look at this. Dixon to, to Kendra Coates. Look at this! Woo! And he deserves what he does next. Yes, sir. Take a bow. Extra point try. All messed up, though. Jalen Parker catches it for two. 36-7 West Side. Pike County did score while we were there. Reeves to Jaquelin King, who is just wide open. Obviously, somebody missed an assignment. He goes 60 yards to the house, but West Side wins big. 42-14. Now to Henderson Stadium. Yes, it is alive once again. Howard hosting Spalding and Region 2 Friday. The Huskies Elizabeth Rodenroff gets the score and started about four and a half minutes in with a 33 yard kick. Spalding back to punt on the ensuing drive and it's disaster. Christian Thompson jumps on it, but it is a safety. Got out of bounds and we have a 5 0 game. Maybe the weirdest score ever. Same score here. Spalding's Christian Flurney completes it to Christopher Zorn. Zorn is on the move down to about the Howard 15 yard line before he's taken down and then. Corny connects with another receiver. This one doesn't have a name on the roster, but it is number four. Extra point. No good. 6-5, Howard. Jaguars back with the ball again. Jelani Kopenny. Nice looking running back. Throws a man to the ground, and that's a first down. Then they feed it to him again, but this time he fumbles. He fumbles. Howard recovers, and the Huskies give it to big Jeremiah Kelly. Kelly takes it to the house. Two point try for Howard, no good, so it was 11 to 6. And that was the score at halftime. Howard pulls away in the second half, though. 37 14 the final at Henderson. We've got our game of the week up next Jackson at Peach County. But first, here's our band of the week. It's time for the 41 NBC Band of the Week, sponsored by Zaxby's. Catch your favorite high school bands on 41NBC.com slash band. Hi, I'm Lewis Watson, director of bands here at Covenant Academy. The thing I love most about being a band director of Covenant is that as a classical school, our students get the freedom to explore and excel at a variety of styles and genres of music, from the marches of John Philip Sousa to the jazz legends of Duke Ellington and Count Basie. Go Rams! on 41NBC.com slash band. Sponsored by Zaxby's. Don't forget, you can watch the End Zone live on the 41NBC app. Download today. Tonight's catered meal for the End Zone crew provided by Zaxby's. Indescribably good chicken. Indescribably great support of our community.